Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna do something, I don't know, is it fun? I hope it's gonna be fun. I've never done it before. We're gonna be transplanting these little Saracenia purpurea seedlings that I grew. Look at how cute those are. Oh my gosh. So excited. They are uh, getting really, really big. Let me see here. Let me... They're getting really, really big. They're starting to get their uh, their actual pictures, and they're they're really, really crowded in there. So we're going to do a little bit of a transplant. I'm going to be moving them into uh, little two-inch pots, and I'm going to try to divide them as best I can. I don't know how well this is going to work, but uh, yeah. And I'm going to realize how big my fingers are trying to get these little guys out. So we're going to carefully uh, try to do this. I'm not going to take you through them all, but we're going to do a few together. And uh, I'm going to, because I, because they've been in this little dome, this little uh, uh, cupcake holder for quite some time since since their con well not conception uh, since the seed sowing, <laughs> um, I am going to maintain a little bit of humidity by having them in this little greenhouse. I got this many many years ago, and uh, it's perfect. Way back in the day. I think it was at Home Depot and it was $7.50 on sale. So I <laughs> can't find things that cheap anymore. Not for uh, actual plastic. Uh, you can get the flimsy stuff. Anyway, rambling on, doesn't matter. Uh, let's get down here. We will uh, see what we can do and uh, yeah, hope for the best. Okay, so we've got this cute little uh, uh, container filled with little babies. Are they gonna show in there? Look at how cute those are. Oh. <laughs> So I've got all kinds of little pots ready. I've got 10 ready. I'm not sure how many I'll need. I might need more. Got them right here if I do. I've got a little unsharpened pencil that I'm going to use as a little uh, divider to uh, make a little hole in here so that I'm not uh, damaging the root system too much. So as you can see, we're just going to go and prepare the little pots here. There we go. I'm just going to carefully tip these guys over. Let's just go like this. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. So I don't know that I want to have just a single one in each pot. I might do two in each pot. And uh oh, look at they're just falling apart. Look at they got cute little root systems there. These two actually don't look the greatest. They're not as uh, as green, but I'm just going to take them. Oh, one fell off. Being super, super careful with them. Trying not to squish them between my fingers. And I'm gonna use my little pencil. We're gonna just tease that root system down in the in the soil there. This soil is a mixture of peat moss just peat moss and perlite. It's about 50, well, I wanted about 50% perlite to peat, so one part peat, one part perlite. The, the trick is you just don't wanna have any fertilizer content. You wanna have dead soil, not dead soil, um, inert soil. Don't want any salt content. These are coming out a lot easier than I thought they would. Uh, these ones here are absolutely beautiful. I think I might have three in this, this little clump. Uh, but uh, look at look at how cute they are. Oh, they're little they're little pitchers here. You can see them kind of just off to the side here. This one's gonna go into another pot. Once these are all planted up, let's try to figure out how we're gonna do this. Here we go. I really don't want to damage the root system, so I'm trying to be extra careful. I'm not gonna firmly plant them in place. I'm just going to lightly tamp around with my finger and the, the stick. The soil is just falling off, which is perfect. Oh, I'm so happy. Look at how cute these are. Okay, that just went up in another octave. There we go. Let's do this. Carefully tease you apart. These little guys, oh, so cute, so cute. Look at, look at them. Oh, so cute. There we go. Make a little hole. Put the roots in the hole. 
and then we're going to tamp these down ever so carefully and then at the end I'm going to fill the uh, the little greenhouse uh, tray with water and uh, let them sit in some moisture normally I pre moisten my soil but uh, this time I did not it's it's already uh, it's not bone dry so I thought I'd make it a little easier on myself sometimes it's easier to work with a drier soil not bone dry because it gets really dusty but uh, not so wet that it sticks to everything okay they look beautiful all right I got some that have fallen off on their own I'm doing two per pot because if one survives and the other doesn't, then there's still one in there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all these yet. It might go on Facebook Marketplace, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, we're just going to experiment and play with these. So anyway, this is all I'm doing for the whole thing. I'm going to carefully separate them from their little, uh, their little bunches. I'm going to put them in little pots like this. And then we're going to put them in this little greenhouse that I showed you earlier. This greenhouse right here. And uh, we'll come back in a second and they'll all be done and we'll water them in. Okay, so all of these little gems are planted now. Look at how cute they are. Oh, how adorable is that? Oh, I hope they're coming into focus. Let's see how close we can get here. There we go. Uh, they're, they're really adorable. I can't wait to see how fast they grow. Hopefully they grow pretty quick. And uh, I'm just going to water it in. I was just going to put two per uh, pot, but uh, or three per pot, but uh, I ended up getting a little bit lazy and uh, just put a, a small clump in each one uh, because I don't have enough space for all of these little guys if I was to separate them out, like I said. So there we go. I'm just using this is just tap water, uh, but you if you have really hard water, you might want to use a distilled water or. Uh, a filtered water or rain water uh, but my water is pretty good I use it for all my carnivorous plants without any problems uh, so I'm going to uh, leave it like this I've got some other little babies here that I'm gonna find another little greenhouse for but this is the main one and then we're gonna put this lid on the top and we're gonna close the vents for a bit and uh, in time I'll, I'll just open these vents up to allow a little bit more moisture in or a little moisture out and then eventually I don't even need to have the greenhouse top on it. So uh, they will soak up their water. They will be happy little campers. And uh, yeah, hope to do another update on this in a couple of months uh, to see where we're at. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know that I enjoy doing it. I've been putting this off. I really should have done it a little bit sooner. Look at how cute those are. Um, I don't think it's going to come into focus. Uh, but uh, yeah, show me what you're growing. I'd love to know what you do with your... Uh, with your carnivorous plants have you ever grown them from seed i'd love to know how you deal with them when they're when they're so small anyway until next time you guys happy growing